health headline that got our attention tonight about coffee and how much many of us drink every day. Scientists, in fact, looking at that feeling you get when the caffeine wears off. Sometimes that chemical crash so intense, they're now considering it a medical condition. Here tonight, ABC's Susan Salney. Ever missed your morning caffeine fix? Yeah, I ended up with a really bad headache. <laughs> uh. You wouldn't want to be around me without caffeine. I'll just put it that way. We've all been there. And now there's a medical term for it in the American Psychiatric Association's Manual of Mental Disorders. Yes, mental disorders. Researchers want people to know that caffeine withdrawal is real and brings fatigue, headache, and difficulty focusing. Doctors say caffeine, which is a drug, is safe for adults who consume up to about 400 milligrams a day. That's about four cups of coffee. ABC's Lisa Stark drank that much and took an MRI to show what it did to her brain. Here's before. And here's after. Her blood flow went down 40% and her blood pressure shot up. The government is worried about the onslaught of newly caffeinated products in almost every aisle of the supermarket, in things like popcorn and hot sauce, even gummy bears. The Food and Drug Administration is considering a crackdown. They're particularly concerned about the effects on children. The scary part is, you know, all the things that you don't know have caffeine in it that you're not intentionally trying to stimulate yourself with. Now, several people I talked to today said they were actually glad that caffeine withdrawal is finally being recognized as something real. But others said they remain concerned about possibly being labeled with a mental disorder.